Okay, uh, so it concludes the questions from councillors. Uh, cabinet members, uh, should people want to make any comments that haven't, uh, they haven't yet had an opportunity uh, to make, I'd like to have that discussion now. Uh, so I've seen Councillor Goldberg, Councillor Arnett, and then Councillor Weston, uh, and then Councillor Arthur. Uh, thank you, Leader. I mean, I think um, this is an issue I think we've been discussing since I was elected first in uh, January 2009. Um, and I, I would say the impressive thing is that we were in a situation as an authority where we had a genuine choice uh, around the direction we could take it in uh, and serious real estate companies that had uh, A, heard that we were very clear that we wanted to have some sort of community use. That's always been consistent in terms of uh, our promise to the people of the boroughs that we would secure that uh, and I think we've delivered on that promise. Uh, and the fact that we had options to pick from uh, and, and beyond too by the sounds of things is a longer process um, I think is also really important. Uh, and I think it's also important to bear in mind what postponement means. It also means uh, a further postponement of letting down the people in Crouch End, of, of bringing a, a very important part of that square uh, and that civic realm back into use. Uh, as someone who lives on that side of the borough, I have to say um, that the entire time I lived there, that space has been pretty much uh, underutilised. Uh, and I can't think of a public square like that outside a town hall in this city uh, where there is an underuse of activity compared to, to what it should be. Um, and if you go back to the original envisagement of what that was, it, it was designed to be literally the civic heart of Hornsey. Um, it's why on the right-hand side you had the old gas, work, the gas showroom, which is now Barclays Bank. Uh, you had further kind of public utilities, which is now uh, a restaurant. Uh, you had our own customer service centre. And that square should be in use uh, week in, week out, uh, full of activity and I think a hotel is a very good way of activating it and to be able to secure public space and restore that building to its glory uh, is a good thing to be doing. And just to give an idea of how difficult these things are to do, I think it's worth reflecting on some of the journeys some of us have been on. So the, Horn, the Town Hall Creative Trust itself uh, I believe was formed in 2007 so we're nearly 10 years since they themselves as a community took on the ambition to uh, bring back that Town Hall into use. Uh, and we're now in a situation where not a single spade has been laid in the ground ten years later, despite, I think, two planning permissions being given uh, on that site. Uh, and it's not to discredit their work. I know, because I sat on that community trust, uh, I think when I was first elected, how hard they have worked. It was they who brought uh, Mountview to the table of the council and said, this is our now preferred solution because we recognise that the maths does not add up and we can't make a creative and community trust led solution work alone. So they bought Mountview. Mountview then fell through and I don't think there is a person in this room uh, or in this borough that wasn't disappointed when Mountview uh, fell through on their promise. Uh, and I think that was partly about the situation that they were in as a college. I think it was partly in terms of they didn't realise what they were taking on in terms of the difficulty of the building. The last thing I would reflect is uh, I remember sitting in this very room in a workshop with that community trust and with a Princess Regeneration Trust who also invested uh, time and effort and energies to bring this building back into use. Uh, and they talked about the Armagh Jail uh, as a successful project uh, that would open as a hotel uh, with their support. Armagh Jail is not open today in that form. It's not succeeded as a regeneration program. And I think to have a viable um, submission on the table makes me minded that we have a duty as councillors of this borough to bring that back into use, to make sure that we protect uh, the footfall into that high street uh, and that we create a viable and kind of community space uh, of activities that, that will attract people uh, into Crouch End. Uh, and I would also echo, that, you know, I think a message that we would send out uh, to anyone at the moment, especially in a post-Brexit scenario, that we weren't interested in foreign investment uh, is one that I think is extremely ugly uh, and I certainly wouldn't want to do so. It's not the business of this council uh, to be judging the tax status. I don't think we have a legal uh, status in that. Our job is to deliver for these residents something that is viable economically uh, and, via, and, and economically thriving uh, in all our town centres and I think we've been remiss uh, to neglect Crouch End on that basis on, on, on that principle.